Now, after quite a rough ride on the trails, I experienced quite a bit of arm pump. Oh, so what's happening now is my left arm is sort of tiring out. So I'm not pulling the clutch in the way I want to. This way is comfortable for me. Now, because of that, I ended up sourcing a new clutch lever. And that clutch lever comes in the form of the Bike House Easy Pull Clutch Lever. As I get straight to the point, it works for me. You know, I've had this thing for a couple of months now and I've been testing it out. I've trialed it over different kinds of terrain, like this, the sort of sloppy, muddy stuff, uh, the hill climbs, riverbed crossings, deep puddles with random stones in there. You know, anything that can make me sort of modulate the clutch with a one finger to see how my wrists react. And to be fair, I've not been getting as tired as I would with the normal clutch lever. I love this new clutch lever. I don't know if you can see that. It's absolutely epic. Now, I was a bit skeptical to begin with because they say it's a shorter lever, but easier to pull. And the laws of physics dictate like a longer lever is easier to pull. But the way this thing works is it's got a longer pin in it and the fulcrum of the lever is kind of moved out a bit further. So it works, you know, it works really well. And I gotta say, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Now, when it comes to fitting inside the packet, you've got the main clutch lever itself, which is actually quite nice. You know, it's thick, it's smooth, um, and it's really light as well. You've got the longer pin then to replace the shorter one that is in the standard lever. And then you've got a nice little holographic sticker to whack on your bike. Start off with then off with the old nice eight mil spanner on there. It's my new little Apico T spanner. I've got a few of them now, they're quite nice too. Take out the screw and put it somewhere safe. Then pull off a lever, making sure that you don't lose the little pin that is attached. Now, before you fit your lever, I didn't do this and I still haven't done it because I'm a little bit lazy on times. Um, in all fairness, I haven't noticed any difference either. But you take this bushing out the original lever put it in the new lever um, and then you get a nice snug fit. Like I said, I haven't noticed a difference. That's why I haven't sort of rushed to fit it in. But anyway, I digress. Back to the fitting. So I found the best way to fit it then is put your pin in there with a little bit of grease because it stops it from falling out. Adjust your little stop there and the screw. Do a bit of a test fit to make sure it fits. The cup is sometimes a bit of a pain to find in there. So just make sure it's seated in there properly before you fit the, the screw. Then start to tighten it up then, but not too tight, obviously, because you'll end up stripping the threads. And once you've snugged it up, give it a little bit of a test. See how smooth it is. It looks great, feels great. Can't fault it, and it's lovely with the one finger as well. Cannot wait to try this bad boy out on the trails. So as you can see then, you know, like any other clutch lever, this is really easy to fit. Um, but as well as aesthetically pleasing, you know, it's definitely functional, especially in comparison to the original clutch lever, which I definitely had problems with. And now I'm feeling that benefit of, I've got less fatigue in my arms, which means I can ride for longer and I can enjoy the day more, you know? So I'm hoping that by making this video, if you are having sort of similar issues and you feel like you need to change up, just pop over to the website, have a look to see these new clutch levers and see what they've got for your bike. Um, I've put a link in the description, pop down, pop to the website, go to their Instagram if you're gonna buy anything because they've always got a discount code on there. Um, I'm not affiliated with the company so I can't offer you a discount code but Instagram is the place to go for them. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll call it a day and I'll see you in the next one.